Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon P610 and the Sony HX400V. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon P610 and the Sony HX400V are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 10th of February 2015 and the 12th of February 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon P610. For portrait photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 4 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony HX400V. For portrait photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon P610 and the Sony HX400V. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon P610. And here are some sample photos from the Sony HX400V. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon P610. I upgraded to this camera before an Alaskan cruise, and it was perfect for capturing amazing pictures of the views. It was easy to use and the zoom is amazing, providing crystal clear pictures of the mountains, glaciers, and wildlife. The battery life was great, only having to charge it twice during the 12-day vacation. Overall, it exceeded my expectations and I'm very happy with my purchase. I bought this camera for a safari trip and found it to be amazing. Despite my friend's warnings, I used the fully extended zoom and got incredible pictures. The colors and focus were great, and even people with expensive cameras were impressed. I can't wait to use it again on my next safari trip. It's a great purchase for the price. Here's what people have to say about the Sony HX400V. I was disappointed with my new camera, as it had the same battery cover latch issue as my old one. It also didn't have the capability to capture stills during video, the battery didn't hold a charge for long, and the warning for no memory card was too small. Additionally, it only stored a few photos directly to the camera in the event of no card, and the sound quality on video. The Sony camera has a great zoom and high quality resolution, making up for its shortcomings. The 2 second delay between shots and the 5 second refractory period in continuous shooting mode can be frustrating, but the camera has a lot of neat features like autofocus and image stabilization. If zoom is important to you, this camera is a great choice. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon P610. We will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. Sony HX400V. We will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. 